recent innovation in information and communications technology has been staggering. Mobile networks now connect even the most remote locations. Internet access and cloud-based services make it possible to operate information systems without having to install and maintain software on thousands of computers. And tools like barcodes and barcode scanners now enable product traceability to lower levels of the supply chain. Information systems that exploit these innovations have the potential to dramatically improve the performance of national immunization programs. This video looks at why such systems are needed, how they work, and what impact they can have. Most immunization reporting systems in developing countries have changed little since the 1970s. Typically, health workers use paper-based systems to register the children who have been vaccinated and the resources used during the process. They report these data to supervisors through monthly aggregated coverage reports that are labour-intensive, prone to error and often delayed. Once the reports are submitted, managers then monitor and evaluate key performance indicators and, in theory, can take corrective action when needed. But information produced in this way does little to support effective decision-making. Coverage estimates alone say nothing about the root causes of why children are unvaccinated or about problems across the system, like ineffective supply chains. EPI managers in developing countries are often completely reliant on paper-based systems to manage their vaccine stock. With little or no up-to-date information on stock balances beyond the central store, and with only a rough idea of wastage rates and cold chain capacity, stock management can be a daunting task. The demand for accurate, relevant and timely immunisation data is growing. The decade of vaccines collaboration calls for the monitoring of equity in vaccination, yet current systems monitor coverage by district, which shows only geographic inequities. Estimated worldwide immunisation coverage has stalled at 80%. To push beyond this barrier, new approaches are needed, along with better information about who the unvaccinated are and why they are not vaccinated. The introduction of newer, more sophisticated and more costly vaccines has further highlighted the need for efficient vaccine stock management, equipment management and immunisation reporting systems. Electronic information systems tend to produce more accurate data than paper-based systems, but better data is not a goal in itself. Successful information systems exploit high-quality data to help improve the performance of immunisation systems in different areas. Electronic immunisation registries can track individual immunisation records, helping health workers to identify defaulters and find out why they are not fully immunised. Two examples of electronic registries are IIS in Albania and the IMREG system in Vietnam. In Albania, IIS has been introduced to keep track of immunisations as they are scheduled and administered. Births are registered in the system and vaccination schedules are automatically created. Key data, such as the vaccine lot number that was used, is recorded in IIS for every vaccination administered. Because the vaccination status of every child is tracked in this way, health staff can use IIS to view detailed information on vaccine coverage. In Vietnam, the IMREG immunisation registry uses mobile phones to track children due for vaccination and record their vaccinations. Rather than waiting to receive immunisation reports compiled by hand, EPI managers now use IMREG to create their own reports, filtering the records by date, location or vaccine. Logistics management information systems can track vaccine stock and related supplies, helping managers to ensure that vaccines are kept in the right conditions and made available when needed. LMIS systems can work independently of or together with immunisation registries. Three examples of LMIS systems include the VaxTrack system in Vietnam, the Logistimo cloud-based system in South Sudan and WVSSM in Tunisia. In Vietnam, a vaccine track and trace system named VaxTrack helps health workers to keep track of vaccine stock as it is received, dispatched and administered. It simplifies monthly immunisation reporting by enabling EPI managers throughout the country to generate aggregated immunisation reports at the district, province, regional and national level. 
In South Sudan, a cloud-based logistics management information system named Logistimo enables health workers to manage vaccine stock using their mobile phones. Using the new system, staff order stock and update stock levels in the cloud-based Logistimo system. At the same time, national and state managers use Logistimo to respond to order requests and view real-time information on vaccine stock levels across their network. For the first time, EPI managers now have access to stock data below the central level. With this information, they can identify shortages, stockouts or overstocking and determine the most efficient action plan to resolve the problem. In Tunisia, the Ministry of Health deployed WVSSM, an open-source web application for managing vaccine stock and related supplies. The new system provides accurate and up-to-date reports on vaccine stock in real time. The electronic information systems featured in this video use a variety of technologies to help strengthen immunization programs. Short videos on each system are available on the PATH program's YouTube channel. For information on all optimized demonstration projects, visit the Optimize website. And to learn more about innovation in vaccine supply and logistics systems, visit the TechNet21 website.